When using traditional brain retraction, venous pressure is exceeded, visualization is usually limited, can cause target shift, usually a larger craniotomy is required, need to pull more than is safe, and retraction injury is possible. The device has been specifically designed to reduce venous pressure to achieve a superior field of view. The particularly elliptical shape provides improving working channels, more accurate target access, and reduces surgery time. Clinical data have proven that minimally invasive profile of the device can reduce white matter damage, reduce OR time, and better patient outcome. Many clinical data have proved the benefits of the device. Current retractor technology does not integrate very well with IGS navigation systems, but the IGS pointers can be accommodated in the VBAS introducer, allows the surgeon to see in real time on a monitor exactly where the retractor is in space and in relation to critical brain structure and underlying pathologies. The distal tip of the introducer has been modified and now presents a cup which is located at the distal end of the introducer. The cup is centered and helps to reliably secure the pointer in place. The cup at the bottom of the V-bus ensures no vertical misalignment or sideways movement or a near navigational pointers. The cup is sunk down into the hole at the tip of the introducer so that fluids can pass around it. This positioning ensures minimal repeatable pointer navigational offsets. The hole at the bottom of the device has been reduced from 7 mm along the long axis to 0.7 mm in diameter. Inside the introducer, there are three internal passageways channels that provide an overall surface area of fluid to pass of approximately 3 mm. The hole has been modified to prevent the protrusion of the pointer through the bottom of the device. The smaller opening limits tissue movement and inadvertent introduction of brain tissue into the channel while inserting the tube. Multiple channels allow fluids to pass into the introducer at sufficiently fast a rate to prevent the inadvertent buildup of intracerebral pressure. The new hole diameter is 0.7 mm, which prevents any of the common pointers from passing through the bottom of the introducer while introducing three passageways which achieve the overall surface area for fluid to pass a desired flow rate of 0.7 mm per second, which is an ideal rate to prevent buildup or pressure while introducing the V-bus into the ventricular system. It is possible that during the centering process, the pointer tip is not exactly located at the center of the cup. This is very important for navigational success so it's very important to verify visually that the tip of the pointer is perfectly centered in the middle of the cup at the bottom of the tip of the introducer. The new cup design improves IGS pointer probe facilitation, the centering of the cup at the bottom of the introducer. The pointers cannot protrude through the hole at the tip. It will still allow flow of fluid into the tube, thus relieving inadvertent buildup of intracranial pressure. The offset is minimized through cup positioning being sunk down into the hole and will accommodate a range of common pointers pros for different manufacturers. The VBAS system can be secured to the operating table with an extension arm which is compatible with various retractor systems such as Body Halo, Toro Luna, Greenberg, Lila Retractor, Mitaka Pneumatic Retractors. The VBAS can be used in a vast spectrum of surgical application, including adenocarcinoma, astrocytoma, brain metastasis, brain tumor, cavernous angioma, cerebral cavernous malformation, gliomas, gangliomas, meningiomas, intraventricular tumor lesion, subependinoma, and such. The line of product includes different sizes, different length, different diameter, according to the lesions to be addressed. After a small craniotomy and dural incision, the V-bus is ready to be used. The introducer is applied to the V-bus. The navigational pointer is slid into the introducer and placed into the center of the centering cup. 
care must be taken that the tip of the pointer is placed exactly into the center of the centering cup to avoid neuronavigational misreading. The pointer can now be used for neuronavigational guidance. Once optimal trajectory is confirmed, the introducer is removed from the V-bus. The V-bus is finally secured to the extension arm to the table and used for transubular surgery. Alternatively, the extension arm can be secured to the V-bus system before introduction into the brain tissue.